Lord. So, I got to spend the day at Pantaria with uh, watching the throwers of this kingdom in pursuit of excellence. And I got to watch you and the way you champion those people. The way you lead cheering sections and, and tend to folks and make sure that everyone's having a good time and has water. And, and do you need a fan day? Did you scrape your knee? The, the way that you take care of those people and the way that they have acknowledged you clearly by the way they respond, it is clear that you are one of the people that makes that community go. And that is why you are here with us today. Is there a medallion? When that Deirdre, with her smile sweet, has cooked the roots and roasted the meat, bringing hungry souls such tasty succor, of which virtue engendered is the flower, then lifts her voice most sweetly to bequeath encouragement in every holt and heath. The tender children, all the youngest sons, and daughters of our much beloved ones. Whoa. The smallest folk are her especial care. She guides them through our camps, always aware. So prick of nature her propriety, that they too soon serve our society. As well she marshals those brave souls who would throw axe or knife at sturdy blocks of wood. And specially from every shider's end, she gladly aids each stranger and each friend. King Brennan and Queen Keelan now both now feel that Midgard's Deirdre is a silver wheel. <laughs> so much that on this 50th natal day of our East Kingdom, we are proud to say this is a thing that we have caused to be on 30 June of our year 53. Aww. Words by Mistress Ronwyn Glyn Conway, Mistress Aldrena de Tamworth, and Master Lucien de Pontevy, and scroll by Mistress Ronwyn Glyn Conway. Don't cry on this <laughs> the, the tissue's there for a reason. Maybe I'll please, please join your order and know that this is very well deserved. Thank you. 